I'll be trying to turn into this class will be learning how to break this standard detail on a dress using a crinoline. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. This is something you like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so there are several methods you can use in making this design. You can use your boning, you can use your regular or plastic boning, you can use your crinoline, you can use peplum steel. So I think we've treated boning already on the channel. So I'm going to be using this crinoline to do this. So for this, I'm using this one inch crinoline because that's what I have right now. But you shall, you can, depending on the style you want to go for, you can use a two inches or three inches or even a wider size of crinoline. And then there are several crinoline in the market, but make sure the one you're using is the one that is a bit strong, not the very soft one. So now I have my crinoline and then I have my fabric that I'm working with. Another reason why I like to work with crinoline for this design is because it's more flexible than boning. So if you want to do a coily, coily design, it's very easy for you to bend it if it's crinoline compared to when it's a plastic boning. So now the measurement you're going to need, I'm going to be putting my fabric on fold by two like this. And then the length you are working with is how long you want this design to be. And then the width on fold is going to depend on the size of crinoline that you're working with. So because we are inserting this crinoline, you make sure that I'm working with a one inch crinoline. So I'm going to fold this now and then I'm going to cut out one and a half inches. So the half inch is going to be my seam allowance. Just make sure that whatever it is that you're cutting out, your by the time you sew it and turn it out, your crinoline will fit easily into it. So I'm putting this on fold now and then I'm going to cut out 1.5 inches and then I'll take it to the sewing machine and sew. Okay, so I've cut out this this length now. On fold is one and a half inches. So by the time I open it up now, I'm going to have three inches. The next thing now is to cut out my crinoline. So now this crinoline, like I said, you should look for the one that is a bit add that is strong then we're going to triple this so depending on this on how stiff or hard you want this to be you can just fold it into two three or four but for me i'm going to be folding this into four using my measurement so now i'm just going to use this crinoline to measure what i have here so this is what i have you're going to leave half an inch on both sides to turn it inwards so now with this length that I have, I'm going to be folding this into four. Okay. I'm going to fold this into four. You can use three. You can use three. You don't have to use four. You can use three. You can use two. So this is the second line. So now I'm folding it again. This is the third. And this is the fourth. So I'm using four because I want it a bit stiff. So once I have this four now, I'm going to cut it out. So after cutting it out, this is what I have. I'm just going to refold this. But because it's folded, you can see the weight is bending. So you need to take this to your ironing table and iron it so that you can have something straight and it will be easier for you to work with. So I'm going to fold it into four now and then I'm going to iron it so that it can just stay in place for me. So now I'll also take this to the sewing machine now and then sew it by the half inch that I left. So after sewing it by the half inch, I'm going to shift this seam allowance to the middle like this. Okay. And then I'm going to close up one of the hand. So I'll do all of this now and bring it back to show us what we have. Okay, so now you can see I've gone ahead to sew it by the half an inch and then on the hem I shifted this seam allowance to the middle because I want this joining to be at the other side, at the lining part. I don't want it to show in the main bodies. So now once I have this now, I'm going to turn it out and also give this a good press. Okay, so it's ironed now and you can see how straight this is looking the seam allowance has been pushed to the other side and i've also ironed my my crinoline so you can see that it's also straight so now i'm going to fold this into two first and then fold it again into four so after folding it like this you can see what i have for it to stay in place i'll take it to the sewing machine and sew it on both hands 
okay so i'm going to sew it on both ends and by the time i sew it it's going to take it all this together for me like this so after sewing it on both sides this part this open part that has this where i cut it you can see that the two ends the two ends are together like this so it's very sharp i'm going to cut a piece of fabric and then i'm going to sew it to the hem so i don't need that on this side because you can see that it is smooth on this side the two ends where i have it opened is together on this side so i'll cut i'll cut a piece of fabric to hold it together here and then i'll do all that and bring it back to show us what we have okay so i've gone ahead to sew it and you can see my seam line now you can see that everything is lying in place for me so on this other hand i've gone ahead to hold it together like this so that the frilling and the sharp parts can be concealed and like i said this other side is just smooth so it's okay to leave it like this so the next thing now is to take our fabric and then we're going to push in the crinoline so i'm just pushing the crinoline in like this and then I'm going to push it downwards. That's why it's important that you make sure that whatever size that you're working with, it has to be a little bigger than the size of your crinoline so that by the time you sew it in place, your crinoline can enter inside easily. So I'm going to push in all of this now and then I'm going to close up the other hand. Okay, so it has been pushed to the end now so i'm just going to adjust it now and then the other hand that is open that's where we pushed it through i'm going to close it so to close this now you just need to fold in your seam allowance and then you sew it or you can just put a hemming glue in between it and then you iron it so that it can stay in place if you don't want to have any seam line there and your design is ready so this is what we have so now you can bend this as much as you want you can see that it's thin in place on its own because we actually double the clean so in this case we made the clean line into four places because it's not so strong but if you're working with a very strong crinoline you can just make it into two places or even three places to get the consistency that you want so now you can fold this anyhow you want you can coil it to any shape or, or design that you want because it's a crinoline you can see what we have here you can use it to form any design that you want it's easier to work with than working with a boning so now i'll take this to the mannequin so that we'll see what it looks like Okay, so this is what the design looks like and like i said because it's a crinoline you can actually twist it anyhow you want you can see how i was able to twist this to form another design so this is totally up to you and the design you are aiming to get i hope you enjoyed making this simple tutorial with me if you enjoyed this let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye